What is going on YouTubers? Abdur Sound here from AndrewTechBlackSpot.com Right now with Galaxy S2 Skyrocket and we are going to review Slimbean ROM using Jellybean. So first of all once your phone is done rebooting after you flash the ROM you will be at this screen. Go ahead and press start. This will take a little bit longer for me because I don't have the SD card, I mean SIM card in there so I don't have any network. So I'll be back once this process is finished. I have to get to my Wi-Fi, so skip and net, and I will be logging to my Wi-Fi right there. Now you can sign in here to get your application starting to install I'm not gonna be doing that as of right now so here it is check for update is available now fix dark scrolling speed bug minor improvement and other bugs fees I'm not gonna touch that. This is your launcher. Let's go ahead and go to setting first. Find out about what you're running. About phone 4.1.1 Jelbin smiling at you. And right there, Slim Bean Skyrocket. And right here is the ASS advanced slim setting this is interface and under that you got general UI custom career label which I'm gonna set to a p p d r o i d 7 ok right there is your custom career label after 7 if you can't see this is the Galaxy S3 that I'm using to shoot this video which is doing a phenomenal job power menu you can have profiles screenshots and there you go that's your CM10 power menu aka slim engine power menu status bar here battery icon style I like center text that one say 64 percent right there if you cannot see and battery icon in notification no nope. battery bar nope you can do all this the way you like AM PM style I don't want it center clock which looks okay then you got notification drawer here is your notification drawer widget buttons you want to have widget button for media right there skip next skip previous play pause you want to have that that you of course want to have brightness LED flies you need that LTE mobile data so everything you need you can select and have that going in there brightness mode and network modes screen timeout flash mode get into it and do which you in like you can have auto okay and every time you mess around with this kind of ROMs you find more and more features because it it uh, provides you with so many different features that you can make the best out of its ROM so once that done we're gonna go back and navigation bar which we don't need because that's uh, we already have that Nexus 7 doesn't have it and Nexus series doesn't have it so that's why they have that in there navigation bar ring hardware keys that is really good home keys recent application menu key open close search key search assistant where's the back key
many long press you can have that in app search all the customization for what you want to have all these keys to do then your lock screen default wallpaper you can change that out then targets five centered oops that's your jelly bean lock screen and this this is where the target will go but I don't think it's working right now unless I'm missing the point but you can have battery status you can have a display weather or calendar which will calendar will post your upcoming event so you don't miss anything out and then sound ascending ringtone and display under that you got notification light and automatic backlit that then under OTA it will notify you when there is update you can donate if you want but there setting and all these features for the OTA application then performance here you can have like startup tweaks what it's supposed to do when the phone starts up yeah that's what you need unable SD boots fix clear cache and that's what I always have that process speeds current CPU frequencies on-demand government you can have that think conservative is better cause it's stuck kernel that's why you don't have overclocking then you can have voltage control kernel controls USB fast charge no data transfer why USB will be allowed so you don't need that and process proceed with causing you don't want to because you're not gonna be knowing what it's gonna be doing you mess up and profile you can have something like at home you might want to turn on your Wi-Fi disable GPS disable Bluetooth then data sync is done portable Wi-Fi thing is done you might want to turn on Wi-Fi so you can have those kind of stuff on your profiles you can select different profiles quiet hours same kind of thing works as a profile just get quiet hour setup so when you go to sleep it won't do anything about slim that's all the things they use it from and uh, this was just the setting now we are going to go into app drawer regular ICS launcher it is coming up with uh, Google now so let's go ahead and get search for something and it already detected so that it already search so you know it works then there is a update me and YouTube and this are the application that it comes with in your la launcher setting holo launcher HD that's what it's using screen orientation keep in memory you don't need to do that if you keep in memory then I think when you swipe it will give you some then your desktop setting grid size vertical margin horizontal then wallpaper scrolling scrolling speed high status bar these are the options dock setting apparent settings guest sharing keys backup and restore so this is the stuff that you kinda want do it when you are free and when you are one of actually personalize your ROM the career label when we changed that's where it appears 
and this was full review of slim bean rom for your galaxy s2 skyrocket if you think i'm doing a good job and helping you out please like my video right there subscribe right there and i'll see you in the next video